Nice! <laughs> Tried to block her with my body. That was great waiting. Coming back to my lane. I'm gonna gank left. I'll gank left lane. Hey, actually, can you run towards? Okay. Ally has been slain. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Jeremy, get the um, the green mask, please. Careful, kid. I'm out of mana. How humiliating. Oh, Dude, why did this wreck did not go back and heal? Yeah. Uh, that's why. <laughs> it's a rack me late game. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Relink if I'm you can. Fine, I'm like really. No, it's just I'm not trying not to break the link. Kill, kill, kill. No. Oh, nice. So there was a guy when I was growing up. Uh, he did my parents' taxes, and uh, he had converted his garage into a uh, into an office, and the office had. Um, a massive Coca-Cola collection, like to the point that it was on every wall. It, he said that he spent several thousand dollars on it. Well, how about you and I went to go visit? I think it was, I think it was your uncle's friend. This is like two years in from us dating, and he had this massive Hot Wheels collection in his garage. You remember that shit? Yeah. I think it was your uncle Lorenzo's friend. Oh, probably. And I remember I was looking at him. It was in his garage, though. We didn't go through. Like, he was like, hey, do you want to see something cool? I don't think he came with me. Well, probably not, then. He's like, you want to see a dead body? <laughs> so Chaotic World said, uh, you guys heard of the guy who sold his own Nintendo merchandise and consoles for a Nintendo Switch? No, dude, what happened? Yes, I did, actually. I heard of the story, and it's terrible. Okay, we're, so like the gist of it was he had all this old Nintendo, like classic Nintendo SNES games. And the like, and sold it all for like dirt cheap for a Switch. Why? What the fuck? Yeah. What a fucking loser, dude. For a Switch? So like, like like why though like did he not know the value did, i like... would assume he did not know the value of what he had well he deserves it he deserves it missing. oh god there's a video of it i don't want to watch yeah. that there's pictures too it's bad i would say that your parents probably would have done the same thing with your pokemon cards but your parents are hoarders i think they did dude on, no, I don't think they sold them. I think your mom probably gave them to like one of your cousins. Oh my god, I had an edition one Charizard, dude. Edition one Charizard, 1999. Bring my brother so I say, but it's pretty big enough. It's okay, kid. I have all. I have all. I'm out of everything. Is that what you're telling him, Punk? After he just said it, he got he lost his <laughs> edition one Charizard. Yeah. Well, no, kid. So, are you talking about um, are you talking about Cyberpunk? Because I heard they fixed a lot of fucking bugs. I was watching some videos today on Liberty City, and it's getting pretty good reviews. Like, apparently, the worst part of the whole thing is the story is not as good as the original story. But apparently, like, they fixed a lot of bugs. They said there's still some here and there, but they said it's super immersive. They fixed a lot of the AI. They completely uh, redid the um, the skill tree. So, uh, you know, the problem was that after about 200 hours, you could just do everything. 
You could be a master hacker, master sniper, master everything. They completely redid it. So you have to choose where you're gonna go. As a matter of fact, so I, I'm a software engineer. So if these game companies wanted to release a product early and it sucked, but I can get access to it like in a year and they continue to fix it, I'm on board. But then that means I don't wanna pay full price up front. You know what I mean? So either make a super cheap game and I can keep buying expansions or make it free and I'll fuck it. I'll buy microtransactions as long as they're cosmetic. Like make make cosmetic. I'll buy it, dude. I'm, I'm over here looking at a $30 bear skin. Like what the fuck?